Hi, my friends. I'm in uh, the neighborhood of Oulet Vayet, and today I will be driving from this neighborhood, which is a suburb of Algiers, 90 kilometers uh, southwest of Algiers, to the neighborhood of Husin Day, which is in, uh, in the city of Algiers proper. So, uh, Oulet Vayet used to be a colonial village that was founded in 1842. 12 years uh, after the French colonizers uh, invaded Algeria, there used to be a farm, okay, a farm, a local Algerian farm here, before uh, the French founded uh, that village. In 1888, they made the village uh, uh, a municipality or a commune. And, uh, well, uh, when Algeria got its independence in 1962, this town here became part of the uh, municipality of uh, Draria. And then in 1984, it was promoted again into uh, a municipality. It became a municipality again, something that it is to this day. So uh, now we are going to uh, you know, we are driving through the center of uh, Oulet Veit. And the name Oulet Veit literally means uh, the descendants of Veit, which means that, you know, there used to be a man called Veit, and, uh, you know, uh, the place here was named after his descendants, after his uh, children. That's it. So many places here in Algeria are in fact named or uh, have in fact names that start with the, the prefix Uled, which literally means, uh, which is an Arabic word, which literally means children of or sons of or descendants of someone. Okay, so this is uh, uh, a superb mosque. Uh, it's at, the, you know, in the center of Uledveite. Uh, it will probably be finished soon, and it's a very beautiful building, in fact, with uh, de decorated with, uh, uh, you know, uh, Islamic uh, Islamic uh, with an Islamic uh, decoration style. And uh, well, now we are continuing to drive uh, through the center of Oulet uh, Fayet on these. Uh, streets lined with uh, trees and uh, these streets are so beautiful to uh, walk through indeed to visit this is uh, you know the center of the, the suburb although i think that it's not it's uh, it's not it's not really its act most active uh, area because i've been driving around here and uh, you know, there are other places which are much, much busier than uh, the, the, the center of, of, this, of this suburb or this town. And there is a, a park on the left as we are leaving this, this, I mean, the central, central part of Sundet Veit, which probably uh, was, uh, you know, the, the center of the village colonial times. Now we are exiting the town to go to uh, Algiers. Unfortunately I can't film this but you know what I see on my left is in fact uh, you know uh, a huge meadow uh, all green all covered in glass uh, sorry in grass and uh, that meadow here is, uh, you know, right in front of the uh, the neighborhood of Shiraga. So, in other words, the neighborhoods of uh, Ulatveit and Shiraga are face to face, and what separates them uh, is the Dunia Park or the, you know, the park, the, the green space, the beautiful green space. This. Uh, you know, uh, the Dunia Park is part of. This is a medicine company here on my right.
and uh, as you can see it's a, a Friday afternoon and the streets are practically uh, empty where in April it's spring here in Algeria Algeria has a Mediterranean uh, climate and there's a Mediterranean country uh, uh, seasons usually come in time and are uh, quite different from one another okay so we have uh, cold winters cold and generally rainy winters we have uh, green and very beautiful blossoming springs warm springs warmer springs and then we have uh, hot summers okay I've got to go uh, to, to uh, okay to uh, stop filming here okay because it's a roadblock great so I have taken the left when I drove past that uh, roundabout and then we, we've got uh, hot summers and sometimes they get very 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 hot especially when there are uh, wildfires and uh, we've got uh, uh, cooler uh, autumns or falls okay you would really feel it gets uh, so cool that you would really feel that you know winter is approaching uh, uh, rapidly you know in autumn or in, in fall here in Algeria so uh, uh, seasons are quite regular at least for now as long as we you know the the planet hasn't been affected significantly affected by by global warming but we we, we, we do feel the effects of global warming even here uh, with uh, you know hotter and hotter summers okay and even winters by the way okay a warmer and warmer winters instead of being uh, outright cold like it used to be uh, some 30 some 20 to 30 years ago anyways so now we are driving through uh, this area we have just exited or left uh, 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 and uh, this road here uh, is the road that leads to the entrance of Dunia Park which is on the left and by the way Dunia Park is also known as uh, Parc, Parc de Grand Vent or uh, you know the park of uh, uh, strong winds because indeed the area this area here is very uh, windy it's very windy it's, in fact, it's so windy in fact that you know they have even installed uh, wind turbines you can see uh, the top of a pagoda here on my left and in fact it's uh, part of that park of the Dunia Park and now this is the entrance to to the park on my left that portal over there okay there is parking space and uh, you know lots of families come here in order to take some I mean to have some fresh air and you know exercise jog and even ride uh, horses and ponies and the area on my uh, my right is uh, you know they is, is a very beautiful meadow in fact just look at those green hills fortunately I can't uh, film them for you I mean uh, properly and uh, well um, the area served as a public dump 10 years ago you know uh, but uh, local residents strongly protested and opposed that so the public dump was moved elsewhere and uh, uh, the Algiers uh, public pu public dump used to be located in Wadsamar it was very uh, dirty and polluted and smelly and everything so when they decided to close down that dump the, the Wadsamar uh, dump they moved it here but local residents strongly opposed that as I said and you know it was closed down again and moved elsewhere taken elsewhere I don't really know where now uh, our waste goes but anyways uh, I'm very glad that this uh, area was restored uh, to its uh, former and natural state all right so today uh, this roundabout is particularly busy 
but you know we are going to be leaving uh, we, we, we will we will be leaving it very uh, soon and uh, you know uh, to join to join the uh, the Binaknoon highway you can see uh, Jamal Al Jazair a sign over there Jamal Al Jazair indicating the direction where uh, you know uh, or the road you should take to go to Jamal Al Jazair or the Algiers Grand Mosque and by the way the Algiers Grand Mosque is uh, is uh, uh, Africa's largest mosque and the third largest mosque in the world. And now we're entering the Benakanun Highway, which is also an officially, uh, in fact, uh, officially known as the. Uh, uh, The Southern Bypass Road. And uh, you know, on a Friday afternoon, you can enjoy driving here. Without being, uh, you know, uh, bothered by uh, traffic, by traffic jams. So Dil Ibrahim, the neighborhood of Dil Ibrahim is on our left, together with Ain Allah. And on our right, there is a neighborhood known as uh, Al Asho. And now we are in the area of Bin Akinun. So Bin Akinun is on our left. And the zoo, uh, the zoo is on our right. If you want to visit the zoo, then just take the right, the right exit here. And this is the famous S of Binakinun on this highway. So the S of the Binakinun is this section, this S-shaped section of the of the motorway. And they say that you know there are lots of accidents that uh, happen here. Because of the shape of this road, because of the bands, of the double band around here. We are still in the area of Binaknur and parts of the Binaknur Park. Uh, can, can can be uh, can be seen here on 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 my right, and the Binakru Park, by the way, has uh, you know two zoos, zoological garden in the African uh, village, and uh, one big amusement park. It's not very big, but it's one of the Algiers oldest and most famous. There is a university on our on our right here. And uh, the apartment complex, all the buildings that you, you see right in front of us are uh, part of the city Malki uh, apartment complex, Malki apartment complex. There's also a beautiful mosque down there. And all that is part of the Val d'Hydra, Val d'Hydra uh, neighborhood. to drive uh, like this on, on a Friday afternoon when you know traffic is so fluid it's so fluid indeed although one needs to be careful and uh, you know not not exceed uh, not exceed the speed limit speed limit here is 80 kilometers per hour it's not really safe to drive above that speed because as you can see there are lots of cars and there are there are also there are also uh, you know careless drivers careless and irresponsible drivers 
and big uh, vehicles uh, such as buses and trucks that can't really control their brakes. That, uh, that could have multiple, uh, you know, mechanical problems. That's why one needs to, to be careful everywhere, everywhere you go. Now we are approaching the neighborhood of uh, Said Hamdin. In fact, we are, we are in its area. And Said Hamdin is the name of a of a big apartment complex around here on my on my left. That glass building, beautiful glass building over there, is uh, the Faculty of Law, the Algiers Faculty of Law. This faculty used to be located in Bin Akinun, but it was moved to this area uh, a decade ago. And uh, over there, that small white building over there is ADL. It's, uh, in fact, it's uh, the headquarters of one of Algeria's main, but most important, uh, housing complex, uh, sorry, housing programs. Said Hamdin. The road to Blida is on the right if you want to go to Blida. So you need to take the exit on the right. That will directly lead you to the Blida Highway. Just look at this driver here. He drives so carelessly without turning the, uh, the turn signal on to signal me that he's entering this. Uh, this uh, lane, the middle lane, and driving in. That's why you shouldn't be speeding. Maybe I entered the, the right lane too early. And yes, uh, this is the, the Lakot area. We have just driven past one of the, you know, uh, the headquarters, uh, the headquarters of one of Algeria's major uh, private companies, Sevital, which is an agro food company, by the way. And now we are approaching the exit that will lead us to the road that goes all the way to Husinde. All these highways have uh, made it, uh, you know, easy to drive from one from uh, one place to another uh, here in Algiers. Got to be careful. This is a long bend. This is a long one. And this is the entrance to uh, the area of Garidi. We have just exited the the, uh, the Binaknoon Highway. We are entering Garidi. This is Garidi. With its two main apartment complexes, one on the right, the other one on the left. So the one on the right is Garidi 1 and the one on the left is Garidi 2. If you want to go to Cuba, then you should take the right, uh, the exit on the right. We'll just uh, arrive at it here, here on the right. This is the entrance to Cuba. But it, has, it also has other entrances. If you want to go to Lizana Seven, you take take, take, take the, the exit on the right here. So Lizana Seven is the neighborhood uh, on the left that you can see on the left. 
while you know Cuba is on the right and this is the what we commonly call here the Dred Hussein Road because uh, there is a, a mental hospital the Dred Hussein mental hospital that's uh, you know located uh, down this road and over there right in front of us you can see the you know the you can see the, the Lizana uh, apartment complex it's a huge apartment complex it's like a small town over there while uh, everything on the right is part of the Cuba municipality or the Cuba neighborhood there is a very tall flag post over there but you know there is no flag on it I think that they installed it recently and there was a, a Nigerian flag on it but now you know it's no longer there I wonder why they removed it so I'll be taking I'll soon be taking uh, this uh, sorry uh, overtaking this this bus because it's slowing me down and this is the the Dred Hussein area where the hospital is located it's a psychiatric hospital it's on the right where that palm tree uh, is located now we will be taking the right because uh, you know we are approaching Hussein Day hospital uh, Nafisa Hamboud okay which is located in Hussein Day this is the party hospital it's locally or commonly known as uh, the Parney Hospital. That's his name in colonial times. Renamed uh, Nafisa Hamoud, the Nafisa Hamoud Hospital. And now we have just entered Hussein Day. This is the La Residence uh, uh, neighborhood or part of Hussein Day. And uh, well, it only took us 22 minutes to, uh, to drive here, right here. We are headed towards uh, one of the central parts of Hussein Day, the Amirush apartment complex, which we all, we can already see from here. There it is, it's right in front of us. There is a, a beautiful mosque here, the Amirush Mosque. And uh, so it's called uh, Masjid Ibad Rahman, so the mosque of the uh, the servants of the merciful okay and the merciful is uh, in reference to God it's in reference to God oh I have just seen something beautiful here although it's a Friday look at this bookstore it's one of uh, pr probably Algiers largest bookstore see it has uh, three floors see and well it's located here in uh, in uh, in Hussein Day and it was such a good thing you know opening uh, this bookstore it opened uh, in 2020 I think and you know opening it was such a good thing it was uh, you know it's uh, one of the best things that could ever happen uh, here in uh, this neighborhood okay where you know uh, knowledge knowledge and and, and uh, where knowledge knowledge and uh, reading and everything are to be encouraged and now, yes, we have arrived in Hussein Day. So this is uh, the area where the post office of Hussein Day and uh, the cultural center are located. Well, uh, if you like this video, then uh, you know, uh, click on the thumbs up and. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notifications button. 
so that you receive notifications of any new videos that will be posted. Take care of yourselves, drive safely, and goodbye.